be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sync samples in the workspace window in Logic Pro 10. So to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and jump right in here. I'm going to create an audio track and push create. And basically for my newbies, this is the workspace window. Uh, a lot of times when we're trying to sync a sample, we'll probably use like the quick sampler, um, which is, you know, a whole plugin and everything like that. But I'm going to be showing you a way to do it without that. So um, I went over here to Splice and I found this sample. And this is a pretty good, um, you know, um, example of what we could do this or why we would use to do this. Um, anyway, let me play the sample a little bit. So it's pretty hard, right? So I already um, went ahead and added this to my library in Splice. I'm just gonna take it and drag it in here. And now we got the sample. Now, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, just so you can hear the metronome. You're gonna see that this is, you know, pretty much not synced. All right, now if you pay attention here, this sample is actually at 70 BPM, and my uh, project here is at 147 BPM. So technically, if you multiply 70 times 2, it would be kind of close to this. It would be 140, but it's still not synced in place. Now, the quickest way to sync this in place is make sure you have this guy right here. You want to have him. Uh, this is your uh, flex tool. Boom. And then click here. Usually, it's going to go ahead and say uh, polyphonic. And that's pretty much going to be the option that you want. And the quickest way to sync this, is depending on how long the sample is, the sample usually is going to be either four or eight measures long most of the time. And so this one is close to eight measures long. If you look right here where, the, um, where this uh, playhead is, basically you see there's a little bit of space right here. And basically all you want to do is just take this like this and shrink this in here. So basically move wherever the sample is, is move it to the closest place where it's eight measures, depending on how long the sample is. Now let's check it out. All right, so pretty much now it's ready to go. It's synced up. Um, it matches the BPM and everything. Now, if you wanted to have a more slower type of uh, vibe, okay, on this sample, all you had to do is extend it out another eight measures. So it'll do way you out to this uh, 17th measure. Let's see how it sounds if I do that. Should still be synced at this point. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And head over to our website, BeatMakingBasics.com. We have some royalty-free drum kits and loop packs you can get and full video courses. Go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.